What is a two-way switch and how does it work? And what's with all the complicated terminology like one gang one-way switch and two gang two-way switch? Well, let's go ahead and find out now. It's actually rather simple. So the term gang refers to the number of switches. So a one gang switch has one switch, a two gang switch has two switches, and yep, you've guessed it, a three gang switch has three switches. And way simply means the ability to add more than one switch to control the same light source. So a one way switch is used to control one light. If you need two switches to control that same light, you then need two two-way switches. And if you require three or more switches to control the same light, you will need an intermediate switch. So now, if we take a look at these three switches, they all look the same from the front. They're all one gang switches. However, as you can see from the backs of these switches, they're different. So the one-way switch has two brass terminals, a common and an L1 and it allows us to connect one switch to one light. The two-way switch has three brass terminals at the back, a common, an L1 and an L2, and so this allows two switches to control that same light. And the intermediate switch has four brass terminals at the back and allows you to connect three or more switches to the same light. So let's take a quick look at an example now, just so we can understand this concept a little better. So I'm going to go ahead here and draw in a lighting circuit. So at the top right of the screen I've got my consumer unit, then I've got three light pendants, and these will be wired in with basic 1.5mm twin and earth cable. So as you can see from the graphic there, the twin and earth starts from the consumer unit and then daisy chains from one light pendant to the next. And as the circuit is radial, it finishes at the last lamp. And now to control each lamp, I'm going to add a one-way switch. And just bear in mind here, each lamp and switch is in a separate room. So for example, we might have one in a living room, one in a bedroom, and one in a dining room. So far so good. If I want to turn the light on in the dining room, I click the switch. And Bob's your uncle. It works a treat. But what if I want two switches controlling the same light? For example, I want to be able to operate my landing light from upstairs as well as downstairs. Well, this is where two-way switches come in handy. So all we do is place one two-way switch at the bottom of the landing and then another two-way switch at the top of the landing. And we link the two switches together using something called free core and earth. And this just has an additional conductor compared to the normal twin and earth cable. So now we're able to operate our landing light from the top of the landing as well as the bottom. So if we take a look at this illustration here, we have power either coming from the previous lamp, or if it's the first run it comes from the consumer unit. Then we have another piece of twin and earth that goes to the switch, which is called the switch wire. Then we have a piece of free core on earth which links the switches together. And then finally on the last leg of the run we have our power out cable and that just daisy chains from one light to the next light. So let's take a look at this installation in a little more detail now. So initially the power is delivered from the consumer unit to the sedum rows. The live cable goes into the loop. Then the switch wire live exits the loop and makes its way down to the L1 terminal of the first switch. From there the brown wire of the free core and earth is linked between the switches L1 to L1. The grey cable is linked L2 to L2. The black cable common to common. And the earth cable is linked to the earth terminal. Now the switch has a metal conductor as illustrated right there by the arrows. And when you click the switch, the common makes contact with either the L1 or L2 terminals. And this will either make or break the circuit. So let's take a look at what happens when we click the light switch on. The light now comes on as we have a complete circuit. So I'll just illustrate on the screen the path the electricity now takes. It goes up through the switch live and over to the line. From there it goes down the live conductor and through the load of the switch and then goes through the neutral wire back over to the neutral terminal bar and then the neutral wire takes it all the way back out to the consumer unit. 
Now in reality electricity doesn't behave like this as it's an AC circuit which means the electrons don't flow in one direction as depicted on the screen. They actually move in a back and forth motion. However, it's easier to understand the basic concepts when shown in this way. Okay, so if we now click either of the switches again, the light now goes off as the circuit is now broken. We can clearly see here there's no path back for the electricity until you click one of the switches again. And another thing that's important to do is, as indicated where these arrows are, you want to put a little bit of brown tape on these wires to indicate that they're switched lives. The colour codes might be different in the country you're watching this from. Now, there are various other methods of wiring up a two-way switch, but this is my preferred method. So now that's all the wiring done. And it is worth noting here, you should only be carrying out this kind of work if you're a competent or qualified person. I hope the video has been helpful to someone and thank you for watching.